This is going to be a short video on various IO metrics that are being used for the task of object detection. So coming on to the very first metric that is IOU or intersection over union. So if we consider this particular box as the ground truth bounding box and this as the predicted bounding box, this would be the intersection of the two boxes that is the area of overlap and this would be their union or the area of union. So the IOU is nothing but the ratio of the area of intersection by the area of union. Now the advantage with IOU is it is scale invariant. That is, it treats the overlap of larger objects and the same overlap in smaller objects equally. That is, there is no bias to scale. But there is a problem with IOU. The problem is that there is no correlation between minimizing an L1, L2 or Hoover loss and maximizing the IOU, which is actually responsible for the average precision or mean average precision or the accuracy. As this is what basically governs whether the detection would be classified as a true positive or a false positive. So if we see this figure, all points on this circle would have the same L1, L2 or Huber loss, but we can see, but for all three cases, the IOU or the overlap is different and the IOU metric is different. That means that there is no correlation between uh, the two. So people who are using the L1, L2 or Huber loss as a bounding box regression loss uh, decided why not use IOU as a loss. So the IOU loss was defined as 1 minus IOU. But now what we find is that for non-overlapping cases, the IOU will always be zero irrespective of the location of the two boxes. And this results in no gradient flowing and therefore the model will not be able to converge. So to overcome the problem with IOU, another bounding box regression loss term or metric was proposed called the GIOU or generalized IOU. So if we look at this figure, A would be say the ground truth bounding box and B is the predicted bounding box. C can be defined as the smallest box enclosing both A and B. And this area would be nothing but C minus A union B. It is divided by C to make this area scale invariant. Therefore, the GIOU term now becomes IOU minus this area. And the GIOU loss is defined as 1 minus GIOU, which boils down to this equation. Now, if we compare IOU versus GIOU, so in the case of IOU, in these two cases, there are no overlap. The IOU is zero and therefore there is no gradient. The gradient only exists in the case when there is an overlap and IOU has some value. But in the case of GIOU, for these two cases, there would be some GIOU value and therefore the gradient exists, which will make the predicted bounding box move towards the bound ground truth bounding box. Therefore, minimizing the GIU loss means maximizing the GIU term, which in the case of no overlap, that is when IOU is zero, means minimizing this term, which means minimizing this area. And when the predicted bounding box overlaps the ground truth bounding box, the IOU term dominates and therefore it would amount to maximizing the IOU. But GIOU also has its own problems that is slow convergence and inaccurate regression. So if you look at the GIOU loss formula and the case when there is no overlap of the predicted and the ground truth bounding box that is the IOU is zero, the only way in which GIOU loss can be minimized is by minimizing this term which amounts to minimizing this area. And the way in which the predicted bounding box achieves this is by increasing its own size. This would result in reducing this area that we are talking about. The same thing can be seen here. We see in this figure the green uh, box as the ground truth box, uh, the black as the anchor box and the blue as the predicted box that we get after adding offsets to this anchor box. So over iterations we can see that the predicted bounding box is increasing its size and thereby aiming to reduce uh, this area. And uh, finally it overlaps and then tries to converge to the ground truth bounding box. But we see that after the 400th iteration also, the predicted bounding box is not able to accurately converge to the ground truth bounding box. 
another issue is when the predicted bounding box is at a horizontal or vertical orientation to the ground truth bounding box so in this case we see that this area that we are talking about minimizing that is this area is already very very small so what this leads to is this leads to a very feeble or less gradient and therefore slower convergence in this case also and when we talk about the inaccurate regression part of GIOU so if we consider these three cases the green box is say the ground truth box and the red is the predicted box so in all these three cases the GIOU loss as well as the IOU loss is the same and is not changing that means there will be no gradient in all three cases but what we actually want is that this is a better a situation than this and uh, since in this case the center points of the two boxes are coinciding so to overcome the problems that we are facing with GIOU another regression loss metric the DIOU or distance IOU was proposed now distance IOU offers faster conversions and better regression and it is defined by this equation which is 1 minus IOU plus and this term uh, that is the numerator is the square of the Euclidean distance between the center of the predicted bounding box and the ground truth bounding box and it is divided by C square uh, C here is the diagonal of the smallest box that encloses both the ground truth and the predicted bounding box and this term again is uh, there to make it scale invariant so now we see with the DIOU loss over iterations the predicted bounding box is not increasing its size but is moving towards the ground truth bounding box as it is now governed by the distance factor and in just the 120th iteration it is able to converge with the ground truth bounding box also the case of the predicted bounding box being at the horizontal or the vertical orientation with the ground truth bounding box in this case also the gradient is large because now it is governed by the distance and not by that area and this also gives us better regression because in these three cases now the DIU loss will be different that means in this case uh, it will be more and in this case it will be the least and therefore it will lead to an alignment of the centers of the two bounding boxes so an improvement over the DIOU was the CIOU or complete IOU now the CIOU says that to have good bounding box regression you need to focus on the overlap area the center point distance as well as the aspect ratio so this formula here is the loss for the CIOU and we can see here that the overlap area is being taken care by the IOU, the center point distance by this term and the aspect ratio by this term. So in this complete formula, this term is nothing but the old uh, DIOU loss that we just saw and the aspect ratio part has been added. So V here is defined as 4 divided by pi square. This is a constant and we are taking the difference of the tan inverse of the width of the ground truth bounding box by the height of the ground truth bounding box and minus the tan inverse of the width and height of the predicted bounding box so this here is nothing but this angle whereas this is nothing but this angle and this angle is essentially encoding the aspect ratio part of the bounding boxes so now if we look at the comparison of all the losses that we just saw we can see that IOU is very poor GIO still better but DIOU and CIOU give very very fast convergence over iterations and therefore definitely are better metrics. Thank you guys. Please like and subscribe to this channel and I'll keep making such more informative videos for you.